Kevin, you're at Cisco, you guys design optics and SFPs and all this crazy networking stuff, but I got a basic question for you that I see a lot on TikTok and other places. How on earth is data sent with light? It, it's kind of funny because one of my engineers calls it commoditized rocket science. It used to be just on off. So like light on was one, light off was zero. But as we get to these fast speeds, you can no longer do it that way. And so we use old radio algorithms from the 50s. Oh, wow. And you basically have different modulations. And so you can represent way more bits with a single kind of on off of the light. And so so it's gotten a lot more complex, it's gotten a lot more expensive, but with that we can send huge amounts of data over massive distances. So it's not like different colors of light going through the cable, right? So that, that's something different. That's called WDM, and so with different colors of light we can actually send multiple wavelengths over a single fiber, and then each one of those wavelengths does the modulation I was talking about and uh, is able to send you know hundreds of gigs or, or terabits of information over, over that wavelength. So modulation is where you're taking like zeros and ones from a computer and putting it as some kind of light stream, is that what it is? Actually using algorithms and then detecting them on the other side. So think of it as like with one, with on and off, you can do one bit. You can do a zero or a one. Yeah. With two bits, you can actually do zero, 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 one, one, zero, one, one. So you can represent four different levels with two bits. And so these have multiple bits and you can get more of these symbols and it allows you to actually transmit a lot more data with just the levels and modulation of the light. And what distance can you go with fiber cables? I mean, we do undersea cables, these specially engineered undersea cables that are thousands of kilometers, even up to 10,000 kilometers in some of the large spans. Across the US, you're talking about thousands to a couple thousand of kilometers, and you can do those with these optical technologies. And that's one, one fiber cable. It's not from 3,000 kilometers or 10,000 kilometers or whatever, right? Yeah, I mean, with, so a lot of times if you have landing stations, you'll, you'll regenerate it because uh, if you regenerate the signal, you get a lot cleaner signal and your signal to noise ratio gets better, so you can send it a lot longer distances. Undersea, these are highly engineered cables. They have amplifiers that amplify the signal, but yeah, they'll go the entire length of the undersea cable without having to stop.